Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to another episode of Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at nbt.prd.go.th. I'm k r a c h a n g with a j i t Today we are taking a closer look at two significant developments in our kingdom. We've got a grand and royal anniversary on the horizon, and a fascinating insight into the condo market dynamics in our country. So sit back, relax, and let's explore these stories together. And uh, starting off our show today, as we begin 2024, our country Thailand is a bus with preparations for a monumental celebration, marking His Majesty the King's sixth cycle birthday anniversary on July 28th. And this grand occasion, titled "The Celebration on the Auspicious Occasion." Of His Majesty the King's sixth cycle birthday anniversary on July 28th of 2024 is set to feature a series of events across the nation. Now, under the guidance of the Prime Minister's Office Minister p u o n g p e t c h u l a i e t and the Public Relations Committee, a wide array of activities is now being planned, from the display of His Majesty the King's portraits to ceremonial objects, Thai flags. And the event's emblem, the entire nation of Thailand will be bedecked in yellow and white to commemorate this auspicious occasion. The celebration will not just be a display of grandeur, but also an opportunity for uh, Thai people from all walks of life to demonstrate their loyalty and appreciation towards His Majesty the King. Now, a robust communication plan involving documentaries, information dissemination, and various related activities will ensure the message of unity and reverence reaches every corner of our kingdom. This is a time for reflection, um, appreciation, and celebration, bringing together the government's private sector and citizens in a cohesive expression of national pride and joy. In a turn to the property sector, Thailand's condo market has witnessed a surge in sales, with Chinese and Russian buyers leading the charge. The Real Estate Information Center reports a 38% increase in condo sales over the past nine months, with 10,703 units worth 52.3 billion baht snapped up. And remarkably, Chinese buyers acquired almost half of these units, investing 24.7 billion baht. Russian buyers follow suit, with U.S. and Taiwanese buyers not far behind. The appeal seems to be concentrated in areas like Chonburi, home to beautiful beaches and bustling industrial estates, and of course Bangkok, the ever vibrant capital city of ours. And this trend underlines Thailand's continued allure as a destination for investment and second homes. Prime Minister and Finance Minister s e t a t a w i s i n s visa waiver policies for travelers from key markets, including China and Russia, have also played a significant role in this uptick. And these policies, along with streamlined airport operations and additional air routes, are part of the government's strategy to revitalize the country's economy. Through tourism and real estate investments, and as Thailand's condo market continues to thrive, and with the forecast of increased tourist arrivals this year, we are likely to see even more dynamic changes in the property sector. And the condo market's growth is just a reflection of Thailand's enduring appeal as a global destination, offering a mix of vibrant urban living and serene coastal retreats. Up next, we have our new segment, s w a d i Thailand, hosted by Kun Nancy Nawarat w o n g a r y a And from the grandeur of the upcoming royal anniversary to the intriguing shifts into the condo market, today's episode offered a glimpse into the diverse and dynamic nature of Thailand. I'm Kwa Chang with Dotit, and thank you for tuning in. Join us next time for more insights and stories on Thailand Outlook. s w a d i Krap. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the enchanting world of Sawadee Thailand, your passport to the land of smiles. 
I'm Nawarat Wong Araya, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this exciting journey through the diverse landscapes, rich cultures, and vibrant festivals that make Thailand truly one of a kind. Today, we embark on a journey through time and tradition as we explore the enchanting old city of Chiang Mai. Our first stop is the Chiang Mai Moat, a small body of water surrounding the old city, where the echoes of centuries past linger in every ripple. It's a place that invites you to take a short but relaxing trek, and today we're diving into the heart of this captivating locale. If you haven't ventured into this area yet, our first stop is a must-see. Behold the Tapha Gate, an ancient wall and moat landmark on the eastern side of the city. Originally constructed as an entrance to the old walled city of Chiang Mai, the Tapha Gate beckons you to step through and explore the magic that lies within. Tapha Gate is not just a gateway. It's the key to exploring the entire old city, leading you to the vibrant Sunday night bazaar and nearby temples and attractions that trace the ancient city wall. And speaking of the Sunday night bazaar, our next destination is a feast to the senses. Ta Pa Walking Street, a bustling thoroughfare opening every Sunday, is a treasure trove of delights for both Thais and foreigners alike. Immerse yourself in the vibrant energy as you pursue hill tribe products, marvel at intricate wood carvings, and discover handmade crafts that tell stories of local artistry. Follow the path of Tapha Walking Street as it winds its way to Ratadamnoon Road, splitting along four lines of intersection. And waiting for you at the end of this captivating journey is the famous Wat Prasing. Known as the Monastery of the Lion Buddha or the Temple of the Lion Buddha, Wat Prasim is a sanctuary of tranquility and beauty. Step inside and you'll find yourself surrounded by gold-laced patterns and stunning morals that weave tales of spirituality and artistic brilliance. The next time you visit Chiang Mai's old city, have on your to-do list the vibrant markets, the serene temples, and the historic landmarks that make Chiang Mai a destination like no other. And that is all for this episode of Sawadee Thailand, where the journey is as delightful as the destination. Until next week, Sawadee ka. The National Science and Technology Development Agency, or NSTDA, has moved to incorporate modern agricultural technologies into sticky rice farming as part of Thailand's broader biocircular green or BCG economy agenda. The NSTDA's National Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, or Biotech, initiated the BCG Naga Belt Road project as a way to apply the BCG model to a specific target product, in this case, glutinous rice, also known as sticky rice. The BCG Naga Belt Road enjoys collaboration from academic partners, including Chulalongkorn University and Udon Thani Rajapat University. In addition to the Bank for Agriculture and Agricultural Cooperatives, Siam Kubota Corporation Company Limited, Gasset Inno Company Limited, the Ministry for Agriculture and Cooperatives, and local administrative offices and organizations. The project focuses on ways to create added value from agricultural production to product innovation and the creative and tourism economies. The project, which has been launched in four provinces, focuses on four areas transferring modern agricultural technology to glutinous rice farmers, strengthening the glutinous rice value chain and waste upcycling, developing a creative economy based on glutinous rice cultural heritage and resources, and establishing an enabler system to drive the BCG model. The result is high-value, eco-friendly products that complement cultural tourism and support the livelihoods of glutinous rice farmers and businesses along the value chain. The BCG Naga Belt Road project is part of Thailand's broader BCG agenda to transform Thailand's agriculture system to achieve three highs, namely high efficiency, high standards, and high income, while balancing economic, social, and environmental goals. 
pilot projects powered by a public-private, people, professional, or 4P partnership have been launched in five provinces: Rajburi, Lampang, Konkan, Jantaburi, and Patalung. The central idea is to use technology to improve production efficiency, add value to farm products, upcycle agricultural waste, create an agricultural value chain from upstream to downstream, from production to processing, connect supply and demand, and link agricultural activities to the service sector to boost tourism, which should lead to long-term economic growth in each province. Obstructing the dishonesty and misconduct that leads to corruption in its earliest stages, Thailand's government is working to instill values of honesty and responsibility into the nation's children. Thailand's children are being taught to maintain their integrity daily, to never cheat or lie, and to respect the rule of law. These efforts are fostering a new generation that is free of corruption.